groundbreaking research is raising concerns about a possible threat for young athletes. It concludes that repeated hits to the head may cause the brain disease CTE, even if there's no concussion. The bottom line here really is it's the hits that count, not, not the concussions. The stunning news study out of Boston University compared four brains of teen athletes with CTE and four brains of athletes with no evidence of the condition. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, breaks down what these startling findings really mean, Dr. Nandi. So Heather, scientific and medical professionals have been scrambling for years to figure out what causes this degenerative brain disease known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE for short. Now this nasty condition resembles Alzheimer's in many ways, and it's been documented in a host of NFL football players and other athletes. Now, so far many have assumed that the concussions are the major culprit behind CTE, but a recent study study shows this is not true. It turns out that CT can start early and without any signs of concussion at all. So pretty important there. So Doc, what actually is a concussion? It's a great question. So a concussion can come out as a result of head trauma, but it doesn't have to. The word describes the symptoms that can sometimes happen as a result of a severe blow to the head or many severe blows. Now these symptoms include memory loss, confusion, and balance problems. But not everyone shows concussion symptoms following head trauma, and they don't have to be present in order to have CTE. And that's what the study highlights. Even if you've never had a concussion, it's still possible to get CTE if you've, uh, even if you've never had any serious head injuries. Wow, that's some pretty scary stuff there, Doc. Now, do you have any prescriptions for people who want to either protect themselves or even their kids? Absolutely, Alan. So here are a few pointers to keep in mind. Number one, always wear a properly fitting helmet when playing contact sports or riding a bike. Also, make sure kids in the car are seated and buckled properly to avoid head injury. Thirdly, if you have a toddler, consider placing gates at the top and bottom of the stairs so they, so they can't fall. And lastly, take all head injuries seriously. Remember, you don't have to show symptoms of a concussion to be a candidate for CTE. So if you, if you have kids who play high-impact sports like football, soccer, or wrestling, you should keep paying attention to the story because our understanding of what causes and perpetuates serious brain injury is evolving quickly, and so we should stay tuned. All right, well, certainly good advice. Thank yeah. you, Dr. Nandy. You're welcome. And folks, if you have any questions for the good doctor or a health concern, you can email him, drnandy at wxyz.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. You know,